With an FCTV with Dean Hammond looking ahead to our match against Chippenham on Saturday. Dean, how are you feeling heading into this one? Good, good. It's um, It's been a, a tough week, you know. Um, we've had a brilliant result away from home um, in the first game and then we've had two, uh, I'd say, frustrating results at home. But there's been some incredible bits in it. If you look at the stats from the games, if you look at the opportunities that we've created as a team, I don't think we can ask any more of the players. They've carried out everything we've asked of them. Their intensity has been brilliant. Their courage to get on the ball and, and continue to play the way that the club wants to play and the way we want to play and what we all believe in, and I think the players believe in that as well. Um, we just haven't got the, the result that we wanted. And, and that's football, that happens at, at times. But I'm a big believer that if you continue to put performances in and you continue to work hard and you continue to believe in what you do, then that will change very quickly. It's all about that process, I guess. And uh, looking back, there were, there were so many positives in those games, despite the results looking disappointing, obviously, on paper. You've hit the woodwork five or six times, created loads and loads of chances. I guess it's about being clinical on, on Saturday. But I think the players have shown this season they are clinical, the amount of goals we've scored. So I, I, you, I don't think you can ever question that. I think in terms of the last two games, um, it just we just haven't had enough in in those moments, and that's football. That happens. It, it's it's what we've all experienced. You know, I've experienced in in my career as well. Um, but the performances are, and most have been excellent, and I don't think many would disagree with that. They've been entertaining games. Yes, we, of course, we want to win them. We're all winners. We want to achieve something this year, and we're all working hard to do that. Um, but you don't always get it your own way, and it's how you respond to to those disappointments. Um, and I'm sure and I have every faith that the players and us as coaching staff and club will respond in the right way. And a big positive that came out of Tuesday night's game, substitute Brad Dollahan came on off the bench and scored his first goal for the club. I know you might not have worked with him as much as maybe it might have seemed, but um, a quick word on him and how he's developed this season. Well, I can't, I can't uh, remark really on his development. All I can say is in the 20 minutes that he came on the other night, he was fantastic. He's, his movement off the ball was really good. His composure um, when he got an opportunity to score the first goal was, was excellent. Almost got a second where he makes a brilliant run in behind um, and then just hits the bar, unfortunately. But his willingness to get on the ball, his willingness to take responsibility for such a young man was what really impressed me. Um, so he made a big impact. Um, and yeah, looking forward to working with him a little bit more. And looking ahead to Saturday then, chipping them the opponents, how do you assess them? They're not bad, you know, they're coming off a brilliant result obviously at, at Yeovil. Um, I've watched a lot of them myself in terms of the videos and we've done some analysis on them. So a little bit different to the last two games, they play a bit more football, they'll try and have possession of the ball. So it's up to us to come up with some solutions to, to solve that. And then for me, it's always concentrating on what we do and what we can, how we can cause threats to them, how we can cause those uh, them problems really. Um, and we've got that in, in, in a in bundles really. We're, we've got attacking players, we're a threat, we've got energy, um, we've got quality on the ball. Um, so I'm anticipating a good game. And looking at the squad for that one then, who is available who might just miss out? Well I think at the moment, I mean we haven't spoke about it, we'll speak about it tonight and, and obviously um, we need to speak to, to the medical staff. I think um, it's obvious Greg will probably be struggling. Um, I think Ruben as well from the, the challenge the other night. Um, there's a few knocks and a few tired legs within the group, I'm sure, but we'll train tonight, we'll see how the boys are, we'll, we'll have a meeting, we'll go through the game um, and we'll prepare for the weekend.